The traditional Good Friday fixture between the Broncos and Roosters was brought forward a week due to Easter coinciding with Anzac Day. And it was also shifted to Gosford, where the players were greeted by awful conditions. The rain and driving wind were such major factors that Brisbane elected to take two points on the end of their first set after Frank Paul Nuasala infringed in the play the ball. And Corey Parker, little trouble, almost kicked it out of the ground with the breeze at his back. As expected, tries were hard to come by. And even a specialist in that department like Anthony Minicello found it tricky to finish off. The count is looking to level Bill Mullins, the greatest try scorer ever for the Roosters, and he lost the football. Jake Friend had an even better opportunity, but couldn't come to terms with the cake of soap. Back to Friend, who's knocked it on. Sean Kenny Dow, who bagged a treble the last time he faced the Broncos, was another tricolour to go close. Kicking into the in goal area, through the legs of Bill. Kenny Dow! He can sniff out a try, no. I think Copley beat him to the ball. In sharp contrast, a patient Brisbane took their chances, even though they had to wait over half an hour for it. The ball on the outside, yeah, he is in. Well, Justin Hodges somehow got the football away. It looked like Mitch Orbison had wrapped it up on the Broncos. Finally scored the first try of the game. There was just over two minutes left in the first half when a couple of Brisbane youngsters linked up on the left to strike a hefty blow. Reed now out to Copley. Copley for the corner. Inside Minicello. And Dale Copley gets it down. And right on half time, the Brisbane Broncos have a very handy lead. 12 0 was a healthy half time surplus on a night like this. Although the Roosters turned, knowing that they had the win behind them in the second stanza. The Sydney Siders perceived advantage was rendered almost useless when Copley crossed again. The ball is there for someone to dive on and it's the Brisbane Broncos' Dale Copley for a double. Jarrell Yaoyi nearly made it a double-double for the Brisbane wingers only to be denied by the desperation of Justin Carney. Here's Hodges, now to Yao Yi for the corner, he went into touch. However, Carney's communication with his fellow defenders, such as Minicello, wasn't so effective. Picked up here by Ben Hennett. The green light confirmed the bustling front rower's first try in two years and sealed the visitor's victory. At 24-0, those who had made the trek from Sydney's east were ready to head back down the F3. And they may have missed their side do something that no other team has been able to do in the NRL so far this season. Kenny down at the back, Lay Lua for the corner. And after nearly 250 minutes, the Broncos' defence has finally been broken in the second half. Brisbane's second half resistance may have been breached for the first time in 2011, but that won't detract one bit from a thoroughly impressive and professional display that takes their winning streak to five and ensures that they remain at the vanguard of the Telstra Premiership table. David Rollins, Big Pond Sport.